How to fix VMware Fusion Pro 10 cannot find a valid peer process to connect to. I recently upgraded to macOS High Sierra and VMware Fusion Pro 10. My Windows 10 Pro VM will no longer run. When I open it with Fusion I see the following message. New features are available for your virtual machine. To upgrade, power off this virtual machine and choose, virtual machine is greater than settings, is greater than compatibility, dot. If I follow this instruction, VMware says it cannot upgrade the machine till it is powered off, however, I can't get the machine to resume because, cannot find a valid peer process to connect to. How can I fix this problem? On your Mac try. System preferences is greater than security and privacy is greater than allow VMware fuss ion. This resolved my issue. Hope it works for you. With help from Daniel I was not able to find the solution although it took me a bit to find the right area. I have written up the process in detail below to help others resolve this issue. I found this problem often occurs when you do not allow this option during the VMware installation or the dialog requesting this during the installation is no longer available, as was my case. Here are the steps in detail. Open system preferences by searching in Spotlight or clicking the gear icon in the dock. On the top row there is an icon for security and privacy, click that icon. Near the bottom of the screen that appears following statement. System software from developer VMware Inc. was blocked from loading. If you look to the right of this message, you will see a button marked allow. Click the button and the message and the button disappear. Note you do not need to unlock elevated changing using the lock icon at the bottom for this to work. Snapshots answer solved for me, but just to clarify, after clicking the security and privacy icon in system preferences you need to ensure the general tab is selected to see the locked message. In my case I did not get the allow button to appear under the security and privacy general tab, no matter how many times I reinstalled or rebooted. To fix it I enabled the allow apps downloaded from anywhere option using the command. Then after rebooting, the allow button appeared. If you want to support the channel, please consider liking and subscribing.